What up? It's your boy Shady C here. Now this is going to be a little bit out of character. There's a dilemma in America. I like to call it the nice guy dilemma. And see nowadays a lot of women, oh well you're just calling yourself a nice guy. Who knows if you're really a nice guy? You're saying you're a nice guy. Nah, most of us get called a nice guy by women. Think about it. I've had many women in my life say to me, oh well you're such a nice guy. You're such a good guy. You're such a great friend. There's that word friend again. And then um, when they get fucked over by an asshole, why can't I just find a good guy? Why can't I find a guy like you? You want to yell at them and say, I'm a guy like me. I'm a guy like me. I am a guy like me. I promise you. I, th yes, I am a guy like me. Date me. Give me a chance. Hello. It's like being in the classroom where the teacher asks a question. Okay, class, what's one plus one? And you're like, ooh, I know the answer. And she says, does anyone here know the answer? Ooh, I do, I do, pick me, pick me. Does anyone here know the answer? You wanna stand up and scream, I'm raising my hand, pick me. That's what's going on with nice guys in America right now. That's how we get screwed over. And like I said, a lot of ladies sit there, oh, well, you're just saying you're a nice guy. You're not letting your actions speak for it. What do you mean? I've been called a nice guy by every single chick I know that I've wanted to date and didn't get a chance to date. Oh, well, you are a nice guy. You are a good person. Okay, well, then what's wrong with me then? That's when it comes down to the women, certain women, not all of them. Okay, let me say, I'm not like the men sell people. There are some good ladies out there. Most of them are married currently, but there are some good ones out there. But there is a chunk of women. There is a chunk of women. Didn't say all. I won't even say most, but there is a significant chunk of women that would rather date a guy who would disrespect them, cheat on them, lie to them, even steal from them if they're good looking. That's all that matters to a certain chunk of women. Again, I don't want some idiot in the comments below to be like, oh, you just feel that way about all women. No, there is a significant chunk, but it's not all or even most. I would say maybe 35% out there who... That, that all that matters, the number one thing, is you got to be good looking. Now, I don't think I'm the ugliest person on the planet, but I'm, I wouldn't say I'm great looking or anything, but I'm a good dude. I'm going to treat you right. Isn't that important, ladies? Isn't that, like, seriously, treat me right. All right, ladies, let me ask y'all a question. I want you in your head to list the qualifications you need in a man. I bet treat you right is either not on the list or it's really far down on the list. She'd be like, ooh, he got to have a good job. He have his own house. He got to have his own car. <laughs> you know, treat you right is maybe be like seven or eight on that list. Number seven or eight. Treat you right should be number one. I'm sorry. Treat you right should be the number one like priority for when you're picking a man to be with. There should be nothing above that. Unless you have kids, treat your kids right should be above that. Okay, yes. When you're in a committed relationship, and if you got kids, treat your kids right should be above that. But it should be like, treat your kids right if you have them. Treat you right. Um, be faithful. Be honest. Be loving. Be affectionate if you like affection. <laughs> that should be what the priorities are. But no, it's more like, okay, have, have his own place. Have a good job. Drive a nice car. Those are the top three from for a good chunk of females out there. Again, not all or most, but a significant chunk. Especially in Florida, yo. In Florida, that's like 99.9999999% of females, unfortunately. But, yeah. So, I, I just saw a video and I wanted to kind of... Because she's sitting there talking about, Oh, well, who says you're a nice guy, huh? You say it. No, nah, we've been told it by women our whole lives. But anyways, I just kind of wanted to do a little rant there. If you agree with me, do me a favor, everybody. I want y'all to like, subscribe, and share. If you don't agree with me, then, you know, you ain't that bright. But that's okay. We like not bright people here. You fit in. So like, subscribe, and share. Push comments down below. My question to y'all is, comment this. Are you male or female? Tell me what you is. And then give me your top five qualifications in a guy or a girl that you that, that you would date like what are your top five i'm gonna give y'all my top five right now treat me right be faithful 
be affectionate because I love affection. I'm I'm a very affectionate person when I'm with a woman. Let me see. Treat me right. Be faithful. Be affectionate. <clears throat> a, be a Christian's kind of like iffy on the list. I would prefer you to be one, but if you're not, I'm not going to reject somebody for it. Have a good heart is on there. Those are my four right there. My main four. That that's it. That's all you got to have. Oh, okay, and be at least eighteen. Okay, and that that's a legal thing. Be at least eighteen. Those are my top five right there. So what are y'all top five? Comment your gender, and because I want to see the differences between the men and the women. What they say. But anyways, as you know, this is Shady C, and I'm just always right. It's just the way it happens.